Hello Internet, I have taken my Tiger 800 in for a service and part of my local Triumph dealer's service is that you get to take out a loan bike so you can carry on riding and for a couple of days had a Street Triple R, very nice bike and then I got a phone call that said we're really sorry but someone wants to buy a Street Triple, come back in, we'll give you something else. You're looking at the something else, this is the Triumph Thruxton R, it's a 1200cc 97 horsepower 112 newton metre of torque Olin's rear suspension, Showa front suspension, Cafe Racer styled Brembo M50 sporting, piece of classic looking weaponry. Um, this is the bike that my heart would have bought if my head hadn't told me I needed to commute in a weathers. Although having ridden it now, I'm starting to think that I could cope with having my knees up my chin and being battered by rain just for how damn pretty this thing is. First thing you'll notice when you start this up um, and sit on it is the view from the dashboard is absolutely gorgeous. I'm reliably informed, not being old enough to actually know, that uh, it is a bit like an old Brit bike. It has a similar sort of look. The chromed yoke is gorgeous and at the moment only ruined by the uh, silly key tag from Triumph Stock. So Milton Keynes, where I am, is delightfully dual carriageway so acceleration is very pleasant um, although all in the mid-range of the engine if I had to compare this bike to a car I'd say it was stuck behind a bus oh wait it is um, this is your Jaguar XJR this is not the kind of thing that likes to be wrung out but is absolutely not lacking in horsepower or go at all it's very happy in the mid rev range, uh, it shifts like you wouldn't believe for the way it looks and I'd say in practice from my experience it is probably as fast in my hands as a street triple if not as focused but that's not really what you want from this I don't think this is very much like the person who buys a Jaguar get back in there and opts for the R pack they're not taking it to the track they just want to be really bloody quick so here we go again really want to be shifting by six to get the best out of it. The gearbox um, compared to the Street Triple and even my Tiger is a little bit clunky I suppose but I don't think it's helped by the extended shifter. It's stuck out for a more neutral foot position so you don't have to go toe in. The rear brake, um, yeah the position that's fine compared to the gear shift. Well, I'm talking about position, the position of the bike. I ride an adventure bike, I'm a fat bastard. Um, and I don't really have any problem with the position on this whatsoever. I find it to be um, comfortable enough. Takes a day or two to get used to. Uh, before that, it does feel a little bit crouched, but in the world of bikes with these um, stood up clip-ons that you might be able to see here, it's, it's really quite comfortable. I've gotten very used to it and it's gonna be weird sitting on a, a big laid back bike. The seat is comfortable enough, although if it's not comfortable enough for your particularly bony or particularly wide posterior, Triumph make a range of different seats, including one that has a pillion seat, um, which this one doesn't. Doing a nice uh, 40 mile an hour here, and the bike, well, any bike feels fine at 40, but, but this one just inspires confidence. You don't quite feel invincible on it, but you don't feel um, skittish when you're doing sort of normal things. As you can see there, the suspension is hard it's not as hard as a street triple r suspension um, and that's a direct off one on the other comparison so it's not as tiring to ride um, i don't know whether on uk roads you'll be missing the the sharp bump and rebound of the of the stripple purely because most uk roads are shit frankly and um you know i think this might be a better bike in my opinion for enjoying them a bit more relaxed totally looks the part still goes like stink and um, the only thing I've got left to talk about really is handling which we'll get to a nice road up here and we'll talk about that You will absolutely want to keep your weight over the front end of this bike when you're accelerating. Because all the way up the gearbox, the front end will be silly light. 
to the point where if you put any weight into the bars it will upset the uh, direction the bike is travelling. Once again, that big glut of torque not doing, uh, not doing any favours for anything but the speed of your approach to the horizon. Although, you know, I'm not going to complain, I'd rather have it. Oh, it's butter smooth. The way I'd describe this bike's handling characteristics more than any other thing is flattering. It's not as sharp and focused as the street triple, but it's not a big gap. But what is hiding in that gap is camouflage um, for my bad riding. You will go a long way very quickly on this bike, even as a slightly useless rider, or at least a long way a lot quicker than you would on the street triple. No slight to either bike, but this one's just got... If the street triple is lean chicken with uh, special money off vouchers for your local gym, this is chicken and garlic butter. Master of terrible analogies. You really, you almost want to hang off it everywhere you go, but I'm too fat for that shit. And certainly at road legal UK speeds, you don't need to. In the rain it's surprisingly tractable, um, because the power is so buttery smooth and the traction control is on the ball. Well, I'll put it this way, I rode back in torrential rain the other day and I didn't actually manage to trigger the traction control and that was despite things like overtakes over white lines. The tyres had their own fun under braking, they're the most confidence inspiring things I've ever felt. Um, but then I suppose they're not designed for all weather, they're designed for this weather. What do I think about this bike um, overall as a package? Well, it's a completely inappropriate kind of bike for me. I really just want to fly over this hill with the front wheel up. Mm. Not quite enough room for such activities. What do I think of this bike? I'll put it this way. It's not the bike that I could use every day. It's not a bike I can necessarily afford. Just being candid there. But what I will say is when I got it home after the first ride, Half an hour's worth of riding, wasn't that enamoured with it, an hour's worth of riding, I walked in, I put the keys down on my table and I was like, I wonder how much the Tiger's worth, I wonder if I can do some kind of deal, I want it. Thoroughly fantastic bike and if you get the chance to ride one of these I would utterly, utterly recommend it.